YouTube what's going on and welcome to the 66th episode of my Andrew Likery mode. In this episode we are going to be going through something that I haven't been showing you guys so far in the series. I have actually been keeping track of every single game of this career mode and now we are going to be going through how I did against every single team and just showing you the stats overall of the career mode. So we start off this with how we did against Arsenal. We had one win, six losses, and two draws with a goal difference of 7-17. to 17. I believe that is the worst goal difference out of any team in this whole series. The goal scorers were Vieto with three, Mbolo with one, Tielemans with one, Mitrovic with one, and Pogba with one. We did lose to them in the FA Cup quarterfinals, one to nothing in Season 2. The next team was Aston Villa, which we won against them four times. We lost against them one time, and we drew against them three times. We had a goal difference of 7-1, to one, with Mitrovic getting two, Vieto getting two, Tielemans getting two, and Hoiberg getting two. So we did pretty well against the Villa boys. And the next team we are going to be playing is Burnley, and we actually did not beat them at all in the series. We drew them both games, and then they got relegated, so we never faced them again. We had a goal difference of 2-2 two to two with Mbolo and Tielmans getting the goals. The fourth team is going to be Chelsea, and we played them a lot, I believe the most times throughout any team in the series, 11 times. We had 5 wins, 2 losses, and 4 draws, so we did pretty well overall against them, outscoring them by a total of 9-7, to seven, with Mitrovic getting 2 goals, John Stones getting a goal, Branislav Ivanovic getting an own goal for us, Steven Defor, Paco Alcacer, Nabil Bentaleb, Paul Pogba, and Lewis Baker also getting a goal. They were the top rival in this series, and we beat them in the, we actually lost to them in the Capital One Cup semifinals, 2 0 in season one, and we also lost them in the FA Cup round of 16 in season one, but we did beat them in the FA Cup round of 16 in season two, so some nice revenge there. Now we are going into the next two teams, and that team is going to be Crystal Palace, who we did beat five times and draw with them five times, so that was a very successful team for us. We outscored them 15-8 to with Tielmans getting two, Mbemba getting one, Vieto getting three, Paco Alcacer getting two, Nunao with one, Pogba with two, Eduardo Marquian with two, uh, Lewis Baker with one, and DeAndre Yedlin with one. We did beat them in the Capital One Cup semifinals in Season 4 to nothing, and we also did beat them in the FA Cup semifinals in Season 4 2 to one as well. So some good uh, some good play in the Cups against Season 4 against Crystal Palace. But next team is going to be Everton, a team we struggled with as we got four wins and four losses against them with a grand total goal difference of eight to 11 and the uh, goal scorers against Everton would be Ambola with one, Yusuf Poulsen with one, Steven Defor with two, Nicholas Sula with one, Jose Pozo with one, and Luciano Vieto with two and they were the fifth top rival in the series. The next team we are going to be talking about is Hull City. We beat them three times and also I believe drew to them once. We had scored them 10 to 2, so a pretty good goal difference with Adam Henley getting goal, Alexander Mitrovic, Yusuf Poulsen, Steven Defor, Mustafa Mini, Paul Pogba, Luciano Vieto, and Adriano getting the goals. We beat them in the Capital One Cup round two in the first season, one to nothing, so we did pretty well overall against Hull City. The next team we are going to be talking about is Leicester City and Liverpool. And Leicester City, we beat four times and lost them twice, outscoring them a grand total of 13-6 to six with Yuri Tielmans getting a goal and Bolo getting two goals and Aleksandr Mitrovic getting five goals against Leicester City. That's the most goals for any player against any one team so far in the series. And also Luciano Vieto grabbed three, Lewis Baker with one, and Nathan Ake with one. The next team is going to be Liverpool, a team we faced nine times. We beat them twice, they beat us four times, and we drew to them three times. The grand total of the goals was 11-14 to 14 with Liverpool in the favor. Mbolo scored twice, Tielman scored four times, Unal won, Pogba won, Markin won, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic with two. They were our second top rival, and we played them in the Capital One Cup Finals in Season 3, which we unfortunately lost. The next teams we are going to be talking about are the two teams from Manchester, and the first team is Manchester City, which we beat five times, lost five times, and drew five times, outscoring them 11-9 to with Yusuf Poulsen getting one goal, Luciano Vieto getting five, so he does tie Alexander Mitrovic, and then Jose Pozo with one, Mustafa Mini with one, Paul Pogba with one, Hector Bellerin with one, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic with one. They were our third top rival, and 
We played them in the Capital One Cup quarterfinals in Season 2 and had a 3-1 to one loss. In the Capital One Cup semifinals in Season 3 and had a 3 nothing win. And in the FA Cup quarterfinals in Season 4, which was a 2-1 win, we actually did play them 11 times, which I believe is joint highest along with Chelsea. The next team is going to be Manchester United, the team we beat three times, lost five times, and drew two times. They outscored us 11-8, to and Lewis Baker scored once, Yuri Tielmans three times, Ini Sunal twice, Luciano Vieta once, and Eduardo Marquian once. We did beat them in the Capital One Cup quarterfinals in Season 4, and also the FA Cup Round 3 with a one nothing victory also in Season 4. So we beat both Crystal Palace and Manchester United in Season 4, so that was pretty good in both cup competitions. We then played, the next team we are going to talk about is Newcastle and we beat them five times, they beat us once, and we drew them twice. We outscored them 13-6 with Mbolo getting a goal, Stephen Defor getting a goal, Ini Sunau getting three, along with Tielmans and Paco Alcacer also getting three, with Paul Pogba with one and Vieto with one. We never faced them in cup competition. The next teams we are going to be talking about are starting with QPR. A team we beat four times and also drew with four times. We outscored them 12-5 to five along the series with Tielmans getting three, Mitrovic getting three, Vieto getting four, Mustafa Midi getting one, and Leroy Fair getting one along with Paul Pogba as well. The next team we are going to be talking about is Southampton, a team we beat six times times only losing to them once and drawing with them twice. We outscored them 13-6 with Yuri Tielmans getting six goals against Southampton, so he was the most goals against any one team as of right now, and I believe he does keep that. So congrats to Yuri Tielmans getting six goals against Southampton. Vieto was not far off getting four goals against Southampton. Fofana got a goal, SAED got a goal, and Paul Pogba got a goal against Southampton. And we did beat them in the Capital One Cup round two, two to one in season four, so that was pretty good. The next team we are going to be talking about is the team I support, Tottenham Hotspur. We beat them three times, they beat us four times, and we drew to them once. They outscored us eight to seven. We actually never played them in a cup competition, even though they did become our fourth highest rival. And Bolo scored against them, along with Tielmans, Vieto Onzazi, Pogba, Loftus-Cheek, and Ibra. So nobody scored twice against Tottenham. That's a very odd thing to happen, but just nobody did that. The next teams we are going to be talking about are Stoke City, who we beat them twice, and they beat us three times, and we also drew them three times. They outscored us 8-7 to seven overall, and Lewis Baker had two goals against them, Mitrovic with one, Tielmans with one, and also Paul Pogba with three goals against Stoke City. Next team is going to be Sunderland, a team we beat six times, only drew two once, outscoring them 10 goals to three. Yuri Tielmans had two goals against them, Mitrovic with one, Bentaleb with one, Paco Alcacer with one, Lewis Baker with four goals against Sunderland. That's incredible as he did not play very often for our squad. But as I said in one of the episodes, he was a really uh, crucial player in our squad, so that's really nice to see. Nathan Ake with one, and they were the sixth biggest rival. And we did beat them one to one in the Capital One Cup around three, obviously on penalties we went through. The next team we are going to be talking about is West Ham, the team I believe I scored the most goals against with 14 goals, outscoring them 14 to 8. We actually beat them six times, only losing to them once and drawing three times. Klatschen scored a hat trick against them. Unal had one, Vieto had one, Hoiberg had one, Tielmans had one, Defor had one, Paco Alcacer had two, Mustafa Mini with one, DeAndre Yedlin with one, and also Paul Pogba with two goals against them. We did beat them. 0-0 zero zero in the Capital One Cup Round 2 in Season 2. We beat them on penalties. We also beat them 1-1 to in the Capital One Cup Final in the fourth season. 1-1 to on penalties as well. So we played West Ham 10 times and scored the most goals out of any team against them, I believe. Now we're going into some of the teams that we faced in the cup competition. And Tremi Rovers, we beat 2 nothing with Mbolo scoring both goals in the Capital One Cup Round of 16 in Season 1. A 2 nothing victory for us. We then played Fulham three times, beating them 5-1 to one in total. Mbolo had a goal, Vieto had two goals, Mustafa Mini had a goal, and Yuri Tielmans had a goal. We also beat him in the Capital One Cup quarterfinals in Season 1, a 1-0 victory. We beat Preston 2-0 in the FA Cup Round 3, a 2-0 victory with Mbolo getting a goal, Yusuf Poulsen getting a goal, and then we played Reading four times in the league, beat actually two times in the league and twice in cup competitions, outscoring them 8-2 with Lewis Baker getting two goals, Andy Najjar getting a goal, Ini Sunal getting a goal, Yuri Tielmans getting a goal, uh, A. Ferdinand getting an own goal on Reading, Lucian Vieto getting a goal, and Nabil Bentaleb getting a goal. We did beat them in the FA Cup Round 4, Season 1, a 2-1 victory, and also in the Capital One Cup Round 
three in season three, a one nothing victory in that game too. Now we go into the next games and we do play Knotts County. We beat them one nothing with Yusuf Poulsen with a goal in the Capital One Cup round three in season two. We then beat Wigan Athletic three to nothing in the um, in the cup competition with Pierre Hoiberg getting goal, Luciano Vieto getting a goal, and Yuri Tillman's getting a goal. We then played Cardiff City. No. No, we then played Blackburn Rovers, and we played them actually three times all in cup competitions, and we did beat them twice and lo lost to them once, which was pretty disappointing. We had scored them 5-3 with Armentos getting goal, Jose Pozo getting goal, Unal and Hoiberg also getting goal. So just like, I believe, Manchester City, nobody scored two goals against them. As we did beat them 1-1 one -one in the Capital One Cup round of 16 in the second season, we beat them in the Capital One Cup quarterfinals in season 3, 4-1. In the FA Cup fourth round, we lost them 1-0, so that was pretty disappointing. We then are going to Cardiff City, a team we played four times on the league. Outscored them five goals to two, but we only beat them twice and drew them two times. Yuri Thielmans and Paco Alcacer are getting two goals along with Vieta with one. Norwich City, we played four times in the league, and just like Cardiff, we beat them twice and drew them twice, outscoring them by three goals, with Vieto getting four goals, Thielmans getting one goal, Pogba getting a goal, Bentaleb getting a goal, and Bunn getting an own goal. Then it is going to be Watford, Watford, and we did beat them in the FA Cup round of 32 in Season 2, a 1-1 victory on penalties with Armentos getting the only goal for us in the game. We then played Middlesbrough in the Capital One Cup round of 16, a 1-0 victory for us with Enu Snell getting the only goal in the game. And then Rochdale, we beat 2-0 in the FA Cup round 3 of Season 3 with Mustafa Amini getting a goal along with Onzazi to beat them. We now are going into some of the Champions League and also Capital, or not Capital One Cup, but just Cup competitions in that time. We beat Real Madrid once and lost them once, won nothing. So Pepe scored the own goal for us and we played them in Champions League group stage. We also played Wolves and we did beat them 0 0 on penalties in the Capital One Cup round three. We also played Sporting CP twice in Champions League group stage, beating them once and drawing to them once, outscoring them 2 to 1 with Mitrovic and Mark Ann getting the goals against them. We also played Celtic, and we did beat them once and draw them once in Champions League group stage. So we beat everyone from Champions League group stage. And we had scored them 4-2 with Mitrovic getting two goals, Fofana getting one, and Mark Ann getting a goal, as he was very crucial in the Champions League for us. And then we played Wassel in the FA Cup round four, season four, which was a 3-0 victory for us, with Lewis Baker getting a superb hat trick. The final teams that we are going to face against was Atletico Madrid, who we beat 2-0 with Paul Pogba getting both goals in Champions League round of 16. We also played Hatterpool in the FA Cup round 5 round five, with a 1-0 victory over them in the final season with Dennis Pratt getting the only goal of the game. And also we played Barcelona and drew to them 3-3 in the Champions League quarterfinals in Season 4, which was, unfortunately for us, a loss on away goals. So we did lose that game with Vieto, Pierre Hoiberg, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic getting the three goals. But that will wrap it up for this episode of the Android Like Remote. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more FIFA gameplay and content. This series was so much fun to make. I enjoyed making it so much. It was the most su successful series on my channel, getting 66 episodes up to date. And it was just a lot of fun to make and just a lot of fun just to be a part of and just look back at all the memories that we made during the series. So it was really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm out.